Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Vital Dead, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. Well, we finally made it. We're finally made it to Record Store Day. We're only a couple of days away now. Today, I'm going to go over the albums I want to grab. There's a bunch of links down below. You got links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music playlist that I put together every week, and the Patreon page. Make sure you check all that out. Like always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a little thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So we finally made it to Record Store Day. Record Store Day is this Saturday, April 20th. You know, like like a lot of y'all out there, I've been waiting for, for this day. I, I, I think this the list this year, you know... Every time I, I swear, every time I look at the list, there's more and more albums I want to grab off of it. I, I always try to stay within a budget. You know, some years I do a really good job with my budget. Some years it absolutely gets blown up. I'm going to try to stay within it this year. There is six titles I definitely want to grab. There's some other ones, though, I'm kind of, I guess, on the fence about. I probably won't pick them up for Record Store Day, but if I can grab them, you know, at some point over the next month or so, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll grab them if I can find them available. One of the albums I'm considering is this Even More Dazed and Confused. So this is an RSD exclusive release. There's 4,000 copies of it. It's going to be on a smoky purple vinyl. It's going to run you about 25 bucks. You know, this is one that uh, I love the movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, this is part two of the soundtrack, though. Part one is the one that has all the great tracks on there. And to be completely honest, you know, I probably don't listen to the original soundtrack all that much. So... Am I really going to listen to an inferior version of that soundtrack as much? Probably not. You know, like I said, it's only like 25 bucks. If I can grab this later on down the line, maybe I'll, I'll grab a copy of it. An album that I initially had on my must-have list, but it's an RSD first, so I should be able to get it later on down the line, is this Elton John Caribou. It's an RSD first. There's 3,000 copies of it. Two, uh, two LPs. It's going to be on Sky Blue Vinyl. It's going to run you around 40 bucks. You know, it released back in 1974. It's a 50th anniversary release. It's probably my favorite Elton John album of the of the 70s. Well, I guess I should take that back. Probably my second favorite album of his from, from the 70s. What makes this album so different, or this release so different, is it comes with a second LP that has demos, outtakes, alternate mixes on there. You know, like I said, it's an RSD first, so if I don't grab it this week, you know, I should be able to grab it online. It will get reissued. An album that's kind of similar to that Elton John release is this Willie Nelson Phases and Stages. This one, though, is an RSD exclusive, so it's not going to get reissued again. They, they might, but it's unlikely they'll, it will get reissued. Uh, there's going to be 4,500 copies of it. This is a 2LP release. It's going to run, run you at around 35 bucks. There are other versions of this album that are available. It's an incredible album. If you're not familiar with this album, this is a really cool album that Willie Nelson did. It was released back in 74, also you know, celebrating its, uh, its 50th anniversary. This is a concept album that Willie did, where the whole album is this is a divorce. The, the first half of the album is all through the perspective of the wife. The second half is the perspective of the husband. It's a really cool album. What's different about this one with the other, I think this has been reissued at least three other times within the last couple of years, is that the second LP, kind of like, like I said, it's similar to, to, to the Elton John release, second LP has alternate versions of those songs. It's a cool album, it's a cool release, you know, hopefully it doesn't sell out that fast and I'll be able to grab a copy of it eventually. So there's always a bunch of great jazz releases for Record Store Day. This year, though, I feel like there's not that money. There's only one that I was really interested in. I might grab it, I might wait to, to grab a copy of it, but it's this Charles Mingus Reincarnations. It's an RSD exclusive, there's 3,400 copies going to be available of it. It's going to run you about 30 bucks. So this release, so in 1960, Charles Mingus and his band went into the recording studio, had a, a series of great recording sessions, they released some really iconic albums, and then for RSD Black Friday last year, uh, they, they released Incarnations, and it was just a bunch of unused stuff from those great recording sessions. You know, it was a really good release. I still haven't picked up a copy of it, but uh, it's got a bunch of great reviews. So Reincarnations is like part two of Incarnations. It was all stuff that they didn't use for either Incarnations or any of those studio albums. It's mastered by Bernie Grumman. It's going to sound fantastic. Like I said, if there is a jazz release I'm going to grab, it's going to be this one. So those are the titles I've got on my on my maybe list. If I decide I want to break my budget... You know, I might grab a couple of those albums. Like I said, I want really want to stick to my core six this year. Uh, the first one on my list is one I absolutely have to have. This is one, as soon as it was announced, you know, it was one I had at the top of my list. This is the new album from Pearl Jam, Dark Matter. 
as an RSD exclusive. There's going to be 15,000 copies of it. I know that sounds like a lot, but uh, I think it was back in 2019 they released the Pearl Jam Unplugged album for, for Record Store Day. You know, I want to say there's 10,000 copies of that, and it sold out pretty quick. So even though there's 15,000 copies of this, it might still be a pretty difficult album to grab. This is on yellow and black ghostly vinyl. It looks really cool. It's going to run you about 46 bucks. I know it's a lot more than the... You can just pick up the standard version of this album for like 40 bucks off of Amazon. You know, it, I think of the versions that are available, there's a black version, there's a clear version, there's a red version of this. I think this is hands down the best looking version of this. I'm definitely going to grab a copy of it. This is the first time the band's worked with Andrew Watt. Um, you know, I've got a lot of, I've got some really high expectations for this album. It's one I'm definitely looking forward to, to grab him. And then also a Blessed Union of Souls, Walking Off the Buzz. This was uh, released back in 1999. It was the band's third studio album. This is an RSD exclusive. It's a little more limited. There's only 1,200 copies going to be available. It says color vinyl, but it doesn't say what color this is going to be. I really don't care. It's an album I, I love. This album has Standing at the Edge of Earth, which is probably my favorite song from, from Blessed Union of Souls. It's going to run you around 35 bucks. I would love to see them do not only this album, because I'm definitely going to grab this one this week. I would love to see them do their first two albums, Home and then their self-titled self album. Because both of those, I think, the comparing the first three Blessed Union of Souls albums, I think all three of them are really good, but I think the first two are probably just a hair better than the third one. The next album is one that, you know, I'm going to grab on Record Store Day, but I don't know how fast this one's really going to move. I think it's a really good album. I don't know how many G-Love and Special Sauce fans there really are out there, but this is their self-titled debut album from 1994. It's a 30th anniversary release. It's an RSD exclusive. There's going to be 3,500 copies of it. Uh, two LP releases on light blue vinyl. It's going to run you around 40 bucks. I think Cold Beverage was like the only track off here that had really kind of any kind of radio play. You know, G Love and Special Sauce are a really cool band, though. It's like it's this blend of rock with uh, there's some funk in here, there's some soul in here, there's some hip hop in here. It's just a really cool album to go through. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's definitely worth checking out. This is an expanded version of the album. It comes with a bunch of like outtakes and demos. You know, like I said, I, I'm going to grab this on Record Store Day. To be honest, though, it's probably one I could wait a couple of weeks to grab, and I should be able to grab it for around that $40 mark. But. You know, if I'm going to be there, I'm definitely going to grab a copy of it. And then this next one's another one that's kind of along the same lines as that Pearl Jam release. As soon as I saw the list came out, I knew I was going to have to grab a copy of it. This is the Ramones, the 1975 Sire Demos. This is an RSD exclusive. There's going to be 6,000 copies of it, which, like, it's along the same lines as Pearl Jam. You know, it sounds like a lot, but I think this one's going to move pretty quick. This one's going to run you around 25 bucks. I know a lot of these tracks would end up on their debut album in 1976 that ended up being... You know, this monumental uh, album, especially when it comes to punk music. I think it's going to be really cool to sit down and listen to these demo tracks and kind of compare them to the more polished versions that was on their on their self-titled album. Um, uh, like I said, definitely look forward to, to grabbing a copy of this one. The next album is one that I'm excited for. This is the kind of album that I love seeing getting released for, for Record Store Day. I want to see more of these come out for Record Store Day. But this is Sponge, Planet Girls. This was a, this is an RSD first. So there's going to be 1,100 copies of it, so it's going to be a little bit more limited. It's going to be 28 bucks. But like I said, it's a RSD first, so probably will get reissued down the line. So what this album is, I love the first two Sponge albums, and then their third album, which is called New Pop Sunday, I wasn't a big fan of. But what it, what this album is? This is the album that was supposed to be. It was recorded in, in 1999. It was supposed to be released in, in place of New Pop Sunday. It was fully recorded, and I don't know what the story is behind it. I don't know if the band didn't like the recording of it, or the label didn't like it, but the whole project ended up being scrapped. I think they brought in a whole new uh, producer also, and they ended up recording what would become New Pop Sunday. I want to go back through and dig through this and kind of figure out more of what the background story is, because I really love, like like I said, I love the first stuff on their first two albums. And then, you know, there's such a big change between... Uh, Wax Static, which is their second album, and New Pop Sunday. That I think I kind of lost some interest in it because of that. But uh, like I said, I'm really interested to kind of go back through and dig through this album and uh, and kind of compare it to what they ended up releasing. So you got that one coming out. And then the uh, the last one on my list is Cheech and Chong, Up in Smoke. This is an RSD exclusive. There's going to be 5,000 copies of it. It's going to be on green vinyl, of course, because Record Store Day is on April 20th this year. If you don't, want, don't know what 420 is, you can go ahead and Google it. I'm not going to explain it on the show here. But it's going to run you around 25 bucks. Of course, this is the soundtrack that came out with the classic 1978 film. At least I think it was 78 when that came out. You know, when I talked about this in my RSD video, 
you know, when the list first came out. I, I, I have to admit that I was wrong. I, I confused this album with Big Bamboo. Big Bamboo was the album that came out with the, the big rolling paper. It was not Up in Smoke. But, you know, Up in Smoke is one of those albums that where, you know, the, 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 the movie is just not great. <laughs> but uh, I, I do love the, the, the soundtrack of it. There's a couple of track songs on here. There's some spoken stuff from the movie. It is a really funny album to go through. You know, it's just one of those kind of novelty albums. And it's kind of grown in its cult status over the years. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Make sure you drop me a comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys think about Record Store Day. What are you looking to grab? What's on your must-have list for this year? You know, I think it's going to be a great year. I can't wait to see what uh, everyone picks up this week. But like always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. That's all I got. Until next time, keep all spinning. Peace. <laughs>